guys, it's Ida. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I'm joined to it. My husband, Kay. What's good, peeps? And also, Lola. Mm -hmm. Somebody else gave me another name. I can't remember exactly what the name was. But for now, it's Lola. Today is one of the videos that I've been dreading for the longest. Because I feel like it's going to take so long to teach you. Um, but basically, I'm going to be teaching Kay how to plait hair. Yeah? Yeah. Have you ever plaited hair before? Never. Surprisingly, he's pretty good with twists. Like, I didn't realise this, but he can twist hair. I think anyone can twist. You would think, but yeah, not everyone Yeah, because everyone tie, if you can tie your laces, you can twist. Why? Because it's the same technique. Okay, that's how you see it. Fine, cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking before we go straight onto like the actual doll's head, I'm going to give you like different coloured cables, like literally just wires that yeah. I charge phones with, whatever, just yeah. so that you can see the difference between them, show you the technique. Yeah. Once you've got that down, then we move on to the doll's head. Okay. If you haven't already, make sure you check out all the previous videos that I've done with Kay, and that was learning to detangle, learning to part, learning to add beads, learning to moisturise, le learning to something, yeah? That's it. We all mm. be learning here. We just be learning and upgrading our skills. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to show you the way that I use so that when you try to learn cornrowing, it's going to be that much easier for you. Do you get it? Cornrowing. Cornrowing. I say cornrowing because on YouTube they will call it cornrowing. Yeah, sorry, a lot of my viewers are American. Cornrowing. So, what I'm basically going to do, do not come stand beside me, come behind me. I'm going to take the outside one. Mm -hmm. Yeah put it in the middle by taking the middle one and putting that over. Okay. And then, with the same with this, the middle is going to go over the outside one. That's what's basically okay. happening. The middle is going over the outside one each time, but you're alternating between left, right, left, right. So when you're actually doing the, the plaits, you're focusing on two of them at a time. So it's the right one's always doing the work. The middle one is really. Because the middle one goes over the outside one on the right side. Now this becomes the middle one. Okay. Then that goes over the outside one on the left side. Now this becomes the middle one. Yeah. Then it goes over the right side. Now this becomes the middle one. Over the left side. Oh. That's basically. Wow. That is basically it. Okay. Middle one over. Yes. Middle one over. Yeah. Middle one over. Yeah. Middle one over. Middle yeah. one over. Okay, you can plait. <laughs> No, don't say that. This is you're, premature. No, you're plaiting. Literally. Middle one over. Middle one over. It's not tight enough, though. It's not tight enough, but you're getting the premise of it. Middle one over. To make it tighter, middle you have to hold over. your hands closer to where you're actually plaiting. Mm. And then you have... So this is the middle one. The black one's become the middle one. Oh, see, that's where I need to... Okay, so... Middle one over. Oh, my God. Oh, what? I didn't. I thought we were gonna struggle for ages. Now you're making me uh, no, struggle. You're, no, no, sorry, one sorry. Middle one over. Middle one over. And also make sure that obviously this is not hair, but every once in a while you run your hand down just to make sure there's no tangles happening at the bottom. Oh, okay, fine. Middle one over. Is this correct? Yeah, literally. Middle one over. That's exactly how you plait hair. Middle one over. And the way I'm, why I'm teaching you this middle way is over. because. If yeah. hair was attached here, this would yeah. basically be a camera on the person's head. Okay. But there's another way to learn how to plait where it would be like an inside braid instead. But that's the way I want you to, to... Wow. My mind is blown right now. Why? I honestly thought, I was like, yeah, we're going to struggle with this. But did the, what, did the colour difference help? <laughs> did I it? don't know. Just middle one over, middle one over this way. Oh. There's, a, there's a rhythm to it, but... I just need to get used to it. Guys, he did a plait. Just the, this is the first time. Yeah, I think so. A three-way plait like this. Yeah, yeah, you can do twists. I don't know how you learn how to do twists, but wow. Okay, now we can graduate to actual hair because you seem to have got that one really easily. You're gonna to have to separate this hair into three equal parts. That's just like how the cables were before. Yeah. Three equal parts, and then plait middle over, basically. Okay. So equal parts, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll make them as equal as I can. Yeah. As equal as it can be, innit? Yeah, basically. So then, 
how do you, you don't have free hands one day? <laughs> then how do you do you just hold on to it like yeah. this? Yeah, you just keep swapping your fingers around. Oh snap! This is techie. Yeah, I can, yeah I'm doing it. this is yeah. Techie. Literally, that's how you do it. This is mad. My God. Why are you saying my God? Because you're doing a plat. I think I think I see. Look at that. No, keep. See, I go like that. Yeah. Then move this one there. Yeah. Then move this one there. Then move this one there. You're even going fast with it. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Even doing it fast, wait. Keep doing it. I need. I need the light. It's a bit dark. Exactly. How the heck? Okay. I'm so. Wow. Yeah, the ending. The, the ending's a bit mash up. It's a bit long still. So yeah, you can just keep. So what you could do is separate a little bit from the longer sides and add it in. So like. I'm just so trying just, to get it done. Okay. That's it. Wow. Yeah. Why do you have to push up? <laughs> push up there, guys. I honestly didn't expect this. I did. Do you know why? Why? It's because it came from my 15 years of experience. <laughs> oh my God. Right now, I think I'm starting to believe you in your 15 years experience. Because how on earth... That's that's such a good plan for your first time. I can't even... I can't even front... Like, there's nothing I could say apart from... Maybe show you how to do the end bits. Yeah. But we could do that right now. But it's not even coming from the root. Okay, you want to practice coming from the root? Well, yeah, if I'm going to do my child's hair, I don't want it to be hanging out like this. It's actually... Oh, yeah, it's really good. Well done. It's, it's really surprised me. But basically... You never underestimate a man who's had 15 years of experience. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm yeah? sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 15 years of experience in hair. Okay, I believe you now. I think I'm starting to believe. So with this one... So we got here. You said there's not enough hair. What you could have done is get... The longer piece, when it gets into the middle, separate it a bit. Just yeah. take a little bit of it off onto that piece. Then you like join that together, even though it's not really meant to be together. Mm. And then you just continue plaiting. But the reason why it's also quite loose is because when you're doing it, you can just tighten. When okay. you're pulling it, tighten it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so then when you're doing it, it's kind of like you're pulling it and just making it a bit tighter. Tire. okay. And with the whole root thing, when you're actually plaiting it, keep your hands close and you're kind of pulling on it to right. make it tighter. It's just really pulling it. Obviously not too hard to hurt the person, but there has to be some kind of, what's the word, pull? I don't yeah. know, some kind of being firm with it. So I go like that. Yeah, use your yeah. thumb. Yeah, exactly how you do it there. But when you're, the problem is, your thumb then needs to be close to the scalp when you're coming under. That's why. If you keep it close to her scalp, then it should be tighter. So like this? Yeah, close there. And, then... and also, I've noticed with your left hand, you know with your right hand, you grab it with your thumb. Yeah. With your left hand, you don't tend to do it. You kind of just drop the hair and then grab it. Oh, so focus oh, on your left hand when you're doing it. Yeah. Uh, uh, too much, too much, too much, too much to compute at once. <laughs> I can imagine yeah yeah and now then... okay yeah keep your hands as close to that <laughs> bit of the hair that you're doing as possible both hands that will keep the tightness as well yeah Ooh, yeah <laughs> oh you mad so i come here mm -hmm. then i put this over here mm -hmm. right mm-hmm and then you said put that there mm -hmm. and then come like this and grab that underneath piece yeah yeah and then bring this over here yeah grab that piece yeah all right and then this yeah goes over here yeah while this one comes over here yeah and this one comes over here yeah yeah okay if you guys can see how much i'm smiling right now Oh my gosh. Let's, let's get this too. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Wait, pause. 
stop there. So now you can see which one in the middle piece. That's trying to go over there, so you can continue. Just pull it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. That happens sometimes. Even wow, you're getting into it, man. I think you can even start camo in like today. <laughs> Came no, no, no. That is a different that's a different skill. You've mastered that. I feel like you've mastered the plat. Okay. Put that over there. Yeah. And then cuts to these small ones. <laughs> Some people just add a little hairband on there yeah. and just let it hang. But there is a way. You could continue with this. It's just like not using so much of your finger. You have to kind of start using your fingertips more. And do a bit like that. So you could have continued that. Because I'm mainly just pinching with these two fingers. Yeah. That's what I use. Then just keep going down. Then you've got a plait. Voila. Um, so cake and plat. I didn't realize this. Um, shocked me. <laughs> Very talented with your with your hands. Mm. <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. But seriously, how did you how did you find the experience? How did you find it? The experience was alright. You know, honestly, um, I didn't really have any expectations. I didn't think, oh, I can ace this or I'm going to flop this. Mm. I just went in and said, okay, let me just learn the technique because I've never done it before. So you showed me the middle or his moves. So I just made sure that every time it was the middle that was moving, 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 moving. Even though I wasn't as fast because I'm a beginner and my starting point wasn't as tight. Mm. But you started but getting tighter. You started getting tighter. It's just that I got the pattern. I got the rhythm. And I started to understand it. And obviously, I'll get to a point where I can do the little ones and the beginning is tight. And then I'll be perfect, though. You know what? At night time, I need to plait this hair. So <laughs> I'm going to be coming to you. You need to practice. And it seems like as you went on, you started to get into the swing of it and your fingers were moving faster. Like you knew what you were doing. So more practice. I don't have to stress out her fingers and I can just get you to do my hair. This is for our kids, eh? No, and me. What do you mean? Yeah. I've been with you for 10 years. You're thinking about an unborn child. <laughs> no, but honestly, um, yeah, you shocked me and it, you picked it up really, really quickly. I think you'll pick up cane rowing very, very so. fast. Yeah. That one I've always been scared of. I think you'll get it. Ah, uh, that one Practice. because it's attached to your head like this. Yeah. Now that's a different skill. I respect all of you people who can do that. Thank you. Because that, that ain't easy. Now, that's the one thing I'm like, oh, I'm a bit scared. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm, mm. I, I don't think know if I can good. do that one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think about case skills in the comment section down below. And we will see you next week. Peace, Leia, safe. Why are you always stealing my outro? She stole that from me. No, so I didn't. You, you know that peace, love, and life, whatever she says, yeah, came from me. No, you didn't. Peace, love, and life.